Side chaining is very important because I heard David Guetta talk about it one time. The, the, the 10, but it has to be always side chain. Everything has to be side-chained. Side -chained. Oh. You'll always find people mentioning side-chaining, but never any mention of what it is or how to do it. But in the right song, it's probably one of the best techniques that you could possibly use. So I'm going to show you how to go about side-chaining in the easiest way possible in FL Studio. The most basic definition of side-chaining is lowering the volume of a sound when another sound plays. So for example, a kick plays and that kick lowers the sound of a synth or some other instrument. The kick is just the chat and it silences all the beta instruments. But screw that explanation, it all makes sense when you see it and hear it in action. Here's a basic song that I made. This is the song with no sidechain. Now here it is with sidechaining. Ah, uh, that's nice. So how do we go about doing this? Well, let me explain step by step. I made a really simple beat with a default FL Studio percussion that it gives you when you load a new project. There's a kick in there. I have it sent to channel one in my mixer. Then I have this simple chord progression with the synth, which is sent to channel five in my mixer. Highlight your kick in the mixer, go to the channel your synth is in, and find this arrow. Right click it, and then click side chain to this track. Now add Fruity Limiter to your synth. Go into the limiter and click Comp, which just means compressor. Then go to the sidechain section and scroll to 1. It's here as a selection because we sidechain the kick to the synth. You can also right click and select kick, but this section will show any mixer track that's sidechained to this track. Okay, great, now what? Well, you just start messing around with these knobs in the limiter. Now I'm going to give a very monkey-brained and quick explanation of what these knobs and parameters do, but if you'd like an actual thorough explanation of each of these things, I have a link to the authentic ImageLine Fruity Limiter Manual. My video will be helpful, but if you want a deep dive, then that link is perfect. I usually turn the threshold almost all the way down and then mess with the knee knob to get that sound I'm going for. You can hear what's happening, but the great thing is Fruity Limiter also gives you a visual indicator of what's happening. Every time the kick plays, we see the waveform of the synth playing is being lowered or compressed. The purple section shows the part of the synth that's playing that is getting silenced by the kick, and the white section just shows us what's coming through. If we go into the envelope section, we can mess with the attack, release, and sustain. For this, I usually have the attack nearly all the way down, so as soon as the kick hits, the synth gets compressed or lowered. The release and sustain will generally make the side chaining effect carry on longer. At least that's basically what's happening. This is where I really have to say the infamous mess around until it sounds good, because these parameters can all be tweaked to get the sound or effect that you're looking for. And this will come with a lot of experimentation with the knobs. If you screw up, it's fine because all you have to do is hit Control Z or just right click and reset the knob and you've erased that mistake you made just like that. Now a big huge side note here, the waveform of your kick 100% matters. So if you're getting weird side chaining effects and your synth or whatever instrument is getting mashed to hell, just be aware of that. It could be the waveform of the kick. Now there's actually another way to sidechain, and that's with the help of a plugin called Kickstart by Nikki Romero. I'm not sponsored, please sponsor me. I bought this five years ago for $15 back when I thought I'd be a crazy EDM producer, and just look how that turned out. Anyway, the plugin basically does the same thing without having to go through a limiter. It's just easier. And of course, I know there are more ways to sidechain than just this. So if you want to come at me and say, no, man, that's not the correct way, you're wrong, just keep it to yourself. This is the easiest way that I know how. And you could sidechain anything. If you want to sidechain your kick to the hats to give it some rhythm, freaking go for it. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned something and I hope you're having a great 2022. Now go out there and make some great music and stuff. <coughs> I have COVID. See you next time.